symptom or side effect. Can you tell them apart? Someone asked me in a comment how I could tell the difference whether some issue in my experience was a symptom of my illness or a side effect of my medication. First, a disclaimer. You should totally seek advice from a professional psychiatric doctor or a nurse before and during use of medications. These ideas are not intended by me to substitute as advice. These are my thoughts as a schizoaffective patient about taking medication. Taking medications which have complex side effects, it is not always clear which part of your experience is a side effect or part of your condition. Indeed, the descriptions of symptoms can sound like the very descriptions of the side effects for drugs prescribed to treat the symptoms. At any rate, it is frustrating to experience side effects and finding with your doctor the right dose and balance of side effect with the drug's benefits is very important. So what about some specific examples? One of my drugs causes the following side effects in some people, somnolence, anxiety, and mood changes, like feeling restless. Now, somnolence refers to oversleep and anxiety refers to nervous feelings and overload. But my condition is schizoaffective disorder, which includes periods of low energy, low activity, depressive low, and sleeping too much, also known as somnolence. My condition also includes anxiety, which is a central pillar among a variety of symptom categories that comprise psychotic disorder. Honestly, anxiety is a big part of my experience so when it also flares up as a side effect of my medication, that means having anxiety when otherwise I might not. Feeling restless, I think, has been a significant side effect I feel from varied medications. If you have ever consumed too much caffeine and felt your thoughts race, and you felt uncertain of the position of your body, like no posture can relax, then you might know something about feeling restless. When, when a psychiatric, psychiatric drug, drug is flowing through your system, it is there to regulate, right? Sometimes, if your thoughts or situation are going their own way, and when a drug is driving its own buzz, it feels discordant. The feeling of your situation is somehow a bit of contradiction to the imposed state of the medicine, so the mood is changeable. There is some kind of colored noise in the nervous system, which I figure can make sense considered as a side effect of a drug or a persistent state of a mood as a symptom of my condition. One of my other medications lists the following as among its side effects. Impaired memory and poor concentration. Schizophrenia involves a great deal of pervasive distractions. There's the literal noise of auditory hallucinations. Then there is the figurative noise of intense preoccupation and delusional thinking. After all this distraction, impaired memory and poor concentration seem to qualify as likely symptoms of psychosis. However, the issues definitely look like fairly common side effects of some drugs. Telling the difference and knowing what to do about it requires having a thorough conversation with your healthcare provider. Always tell them about your concerns and hopefully you will find agreement and mutual compromise about how to proceed. A medication I used to take lists the following as some of the side effects. Agitation, sleeplessness, and increased irritability. A medication I used to take lists the following as some of the side effects. Agitation, sleeplessness, and increased irritability. Now that I no longer take this medication, and also since I notice these signs less, I feel more assured calling the issues side effects of the drug rather than intrinsic parts of my schizoaffective disorder. It is hard to say what my doctor of the time thought about my presentation of agitation and irritability. That doctor had a habit of saying things I found to be agitating and irritating. He also had an approach of doubting me. I've always complied with medication, like always, but he was convinced I was lying. It was a negative situation. This is my only advice. 
If you have trouble with a particular doctor, hopefully you have the choice to choose a new practitioner. If we can agree with the approach and theories of one doctor more than another, and they are otherwise both qualified to teach you, go with good bedside manner every time. In conclusion, talk to your doctor about your perceived side effects and your troublesome symptoms. Professional knowledge and observation is necessary when making decisions about medications and treatment plans. It is certain that some troubles you face as a psychiatric patient are indeed troubles created or augmented by pharmaceuticals. However, it is usually weighted by the doctor who is looking for a balance between benefit and detriment with consideration to the overall condition and side effects you experience. Thanks for listening in to my discussion. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening, listening in to my, my discussion. discussion. You're tuned into Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. Comment below, share with a friend, subscribe to get more videos about schizophrenia. Have a good day.